let's talk about let's talk about diplomas, certifications, etc. versus experience when applying for a job. What's more important for the hiring decision makers? Is it you know how many certificates and diplomas you have, or is it how much relevant experience, transferable skills, and knowledge uh, you can bring into the role? So th this is my take on it. Um, this is my experience. This is my advice based on my experience so far. But obviously, everyone's circumstances are different. So you know, make your own informed decision, your own informed assessment. So my, my opinion is when you first start out, when you, you know, looking to get your first role, I think a university degree uh, or bachelor degree, you know, it's a good point to start. But even if that's not available to you, I would say a short, um, short term certification, whatever that may be, you know, business analysis, project management, whatever, whatever um, certification you would think you'd be interested in that will help you get into the roles you, you're looking to, to get into in your career. I think that's the best route and the quickest and easiest route to a su successful you know, career in your field. Now, I know people in financial services um, who have been pursuing certifications that require years and years and years of investment, time and energy invested, you know, missed family time, missed, you know, personal time, like a lot of sacrifice. Um, so, I mean, a few uh, things that come to mind here as, an exa as examples are ACCA um, and CFA. <clears throat> so ACCA is for accounting, and a uh, CFA is CFA is for uh, financial analysis, and there are others. Um, so I haven't pursued the ACCA certification. Um, that was not my path, but I did pursue the CFA certification, Charter Financial Analyst. And I have been, you know, I have been <laughs> attempting that for years and years and years. Um, now, depending who you ask, they may say to you, oh, the fact that you have a certification means you know you're guaranteed to get a well-paid job after that so all the sacrifice is going to pay off um, that's not what i've seen to be honest with you not from own experience but from lo looking at others i can tell you about my own experience shortly so it's not always true and then one thing you need to bear in mind is that all the certifications all these programs that take years they personally don't teach you anything that you could actually use in your personal life it's all about the corporate world and how you can help organizations to, you know, uh, achieve their objectives by you doing specialized in certain specific tasks. So I would I don't see this as a win win. Um, my advice is always pursuing designations, certifications that can give you a personal benefit in your own life as well. Something that it's like a, like a life skill you could use as a life skill. So, for example, if you pursue something as a business analyst, project manager role, you're bound to, you know, learn things you could apply in your own life, in your own projects, you know, some, some um, structure, some discipline, some methods, and you can always apply this to multiple areas, uh, multiple fields in business. So basically what I'm saying is, if you can, if you have the choice, and if you see value in it, my advice is to always pursue certifications that you can first um, use in your own personal life, in your own personal projects, but also that you can uh, leverage in other sectors, other fields that are not specifically um, um, used in one specific sector right okay so 
So if you're starting out, I would suggest if you don't have a bachelor degree or a university degree, or you cannot afford to pay for that, I'd say, don't worry, don't panic. Just find something that you, you know, you're interested in and find a, like a, a topic or, you know, um, yeah, find a topic you're interested in and then just get um, uh, a short-term course, like a specialist course. Do that and then you, you'll have great chances to actually get employed, in my opinion. Now, when you have more experience, I would talk in five, seven years and, and more, your, your, um, your qualifications don't matter that much. So what's important for the employers is your relevant uh, experience your relevant skills and expertise. And if you haven't worked in, spe in that specific sector, any transferable skills and experience you can bring to the table in the new role. Um, I, and even today, look, even today, today I would say the best way to be positioned for success and future proof um, your career is always have short-term qualifications. Short-term qualifications will beat long-term qualifications every time, in my opinion. To give you an example, if I were to hire someone today, for me, it's not as much, you know, what diploma and certifications you have, but, you know, what exactly have you done? What can you do right now that can, you know, help me with my projects or the problems I'm looking to solve. So the fact that you have certifications and diplomas, that's great. It shows me that you have, you know, social skills, you know, you can work with people, you can, you know, finish the um, projects, whatever. You have academics, but if you show me that you actually, you know, are a specialist in one field, that is going to give you the opportunity to earn more. That's my point on it. So my view is always look for something that is a win-win. I mean, a win for you right now and a win for you in the future. Sp spending money, investing money in certifications and um, diplomas to impress an employer is not going to be a practice that's going to be used going forward that much. I, I don't think so. And then, you know, on top of that, Think of this, people who spend so much time in education for diplomas and certifications, at the end of the day, what do they have to show for it? So I remember 10, 11 years ago when you know, I got started in London, uh, I heard stories about you know, how five, 10 years back, the starting point for a graduate, the starting salary for a graduate was 50,000 pounds. And then at that point in time, 11 years ago, it had, you know, gradually dropped to where it was about 30,000 pounds or so. I just don't, I don't have the exact figure. It's just an example. So what's happening is so many people go into education. They invest all this money, all this time. Everyone is doing a diploma. Everyone is doing a university degree. But at the end of the day, it's too much competition, too much, you know, nice looking certificates but no real life experience so if you can get you know short-term certification as much experience as you can even if it's you know voluntary experience for a short period of time just show, showcasing your your skills and abilities but that's um that's my best advice to you